Hi YouTube, in this video we're going to find the Maclaurin series for the function f of x equals x times e to the negative 3x solution. We'll start by writing down the Maclaurin series for e to the x. So the Maclaurin series for e to the x is equal to the infinite sum as n goes from 0 to infinity of x to the n over n factorial super useful formula, totally worth memorizing. So we have to come up with f of x based off this formula. So first, maybe let's go ahead and replace x with negative 3x. So when we do that, we get e to the negative 3x equals, and we still have the infinite sum as n runs from 0 to infinity. And instead of x now, it's negative 3x to the n over n factorial. We could simplify this a little bit. Let's go ahead and do that. So this is equal to the infinite sum as n runs from 0 to infinity. And you can do some maneuvering here. So if you have negative 3x to the n, you can think of this as negative 1 times 3 times x, and it's all to the nth power. Then using properties of exponents, you can raise each of these pieces to the nth power. So it'll look like this negative 1 to the n, 3 to the n, x to the n. Boom. So this is equal to negative 1 to the n, 3 to the n, x to the n, and it's all over n factorial. So that's e to the negative 3x. We need x times e to the negative 3x. So let's go ahead and do that. So to finish, we'll look at f of x which is equal to x times e to the negative 3x. And basically, we're just taking this one and multiplying it by x. So we'll put an x here, put an x here, put an x here. And then we can distribute the x. So we end up with the infinite sum as n runs from 0 to infinity. We still have the negative 1 to the n. We still have the 3 to the n. And when you multiply these, you're multiplying x times x to the n. It's really x to the first power. And so what you do with the exponents is you add them, right? So this will be x to the n plus 1, right? So this is x to the n plus 1. And on the bottom, we have n factorial. And that's it. That is the final answer. I hope that helped.